Well, you came here for one reason, uh, to get the UFC deal. You got it done. Yes, sir. Give us an idea of what the feeling's like right now. Man, I, I'm shocked. I'm just like, like, I'm just like, ah, I'm just shocked. But I, I felt it. I knew I was going to get it. I was like, man, I was telling myself all week, I was like, I'm going to knock this dude out, and I'm going to get that contract. I'm going to knock this dude out, I'm going to get that contract. Every time I did anything, hit me, scrapple, uh, strength condition, anything, anything I ever did, I said to myself, I'm going to finish this dude, and I'm going to get a contract. Sure enough, it happened. Finished him, we got a contract. I'm on a roster now. First round finish, but you know the pace started now. I wouldn't say slow, but just studying a little bit, feeling out everything. How, you know, how, what, what were you seeing as the, as the fight was opening up? Well, I knew one, he's big as hell. Two, boy, is strong. Three, like you know what I mean? He, he's a wrestler, so I was like kind of weary about his takedowns and everything. And then I had to, you know what I mean? That little little niche got in my mind. Fuck him. I go out, sorry, my bad. But go out there, do what you got to do. So, then I seen him move and I said, so I'm like, all right, let me start thinking about strategy. I seen him flinching from little things every time I moved, did something, did something. So, I was like, let me throw this out here. And he flinched. I said, done. Flying knee. Took it home. That was it. It felt like once you defended the takedown too, that probably built your confidence a little bit. That, oh, okay, that too. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I knew he was going to do it eventually. You know what I mean? Like, it, it He's a wrestler, like it. That's his goal too, you know. So I was like, I knew it's gonna be there. I knew at some point he was gonna go for it, and he did. And I'm glad I stopped it. Got the finish. Looked like immediately emotions kind of got to you in the cage. Yeah, What's going man. Your head? Um, I just was so, cause like going up, walking out, and everything. Like emotions building up. You know, I, I always give myself a, um, a pep talk. Like I'm my biggest motivator. You know what I'm saying? As well as my coaches. But I'm, I was telling myself like, you are going to knock this dude out. You're gonna do this. Like stick to your guns be phenomenal like or be forgotten it's that simple and I went out there and I just it was like at first I was hesitant but at the same time I was like talking myself through it I'm like yo come on come on come on you can do this like come on what the fuck rev it up and I, I got the knockout the crazy thing is as impressive as the finish was yeah still no guarantee right you got to sit back here for a couple minutes and wait what's What's the feeling like? I mean, just going from, yes, I got this amazing knockout to, wait, I still don't know if I'm in the UFC yet, you know? So, <laughs> so I went, it went, I was like on a high. I was like, yeah, fuck yeah. And then they was like, yeah, but you got to sit over here. I'm like, so I sit here with the rest of these guys and everything. But like, when I was in the back, I was watching all these fights. Like, what a lot of people don't understand is that you're in two competitions here. You're in a fight against your opponent and you're in a fight to beat everybody else to get a contract. So like, I had that in my mind, I'm watching, I see all these dudes, I'm like, none of these dudes were that like exciting. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to bash them or anything, but I was like, nothing. none of them like stood out. So I was like, fuck that. When I go out there, I'm give it all. Like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna give it all. You trained with Joe Lozon and he was in your corner. So what's it yeah. like having somebody who's like a seasoned veteran of the UFC there for you and kind of bringing you along on this journey? Um, It was awesome. Joe's like, Dude, Joe's, he's a mad scientist when it comes to this game. You know, he's always, like, he's always, like, analyzing everybody, looking at everybody. He's like ESPN, but with the fight game, like, specifically for the fight game, like, you know, for fighters. Like, he's just, he's always analyzing things. He's always like, yo, blah, 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 blah. And, um, yeah, so it, it's been making, it made the ride definitely a lot, I wouldn't say easier, but, it was, it was, it's good to have him. It's good, it's definitely good to have him. He's, he's amazing. You were talking about what that $10,000 is going to do for you. I mean, you having that money, what's your first plan? What's your first attempt? Vacation. <laughs> I mean, we, man, me and my wife been planning it. She's like, oh, I want to go somewhere with some sand and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, all right, I just, I just don't want to bring the kids. I ain't going to lie. I don't want to bring them. <laughs> What's your daily life like, and how does getting to UC change that for you? Um, well, um, my my wife, look, my wife, she uh, she's a full time nurse. She works full time, and I have the kids. And they stay home, dad. So, in between that, like, that's how I get all the training. In. So, me being the UFC, you know what I'm saying? To put some bake, help put some bacon on the table. You know, my wife can actually start. Stop working so many hours, she could cut back a little bit, you know, probably go per diem and just chill, you know what I mean? So, yeah. How many kids do you have? I have two. Two? Yep. How old are they? Two and six months. Well, seven months, sorry. Um, I guess, what a, how, how do you, I guess they're, they're probably the motivation now that you're here. Absolutely. You know, to keep doing that. But I guess as, a, as an athlete, 
there's so much drive to get to the UFC. Like, how do you kind of adjust your mindset and say, okay, now I'm here, now now to adjust the goals and, and extend what you know what I'm working for? Um, some stuff you just gotta. I I don't know. I get like this tunnel vision. You know, I just like I I gotta fight. Well, I got to, and I just gotta I just stay focused. Stay focused. I mean, I love my kids and everything. Love my family and all of that. But I'm you know I'm trying to get that surfing turf. I'm trying to make it. You know. So that's how I just, how I manage everything. So vacation, when do we uh, think maybe we'll see you back in the cage? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I know, right? Um, <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure. You, you guys got to check back in with me. Maybe, hopefully like October, November-ish, somewhere around there.